This is Vincent Schilling, correspondent for Indian Country Today Media Network. I am here on a cold 24 degree Saturday morning with a wind chill probably about 10 degrees less than that. And I am here at the Pamunkey Reservation. And you would think it's fairly somber and quiet here, but I'm sure the feelings of the Pamunkey tribe are one of elation, considering they are in good standing for federal recognition. We're going to be talking to a couple of the uh, tribal members today as well as Chief Kevin Brown of Pamunkey Indian Nation to see how they feel about the possibility of federal recognition looking closer on their horizon. The Pamunkey Indian Reservation lies just 17 miles away from the industrial town of West Point, Virginia in King William County. If you follow the weather-worn signs across remote farmland roads, you'll find them. It just feels like justice, like historic justice, like we went through a court case and we won our case, you know, because it was really, uh, the burden of proof was on us and people don't realize how hard it is to prove that you exist. I mean, you know you exist, but to, to prove it to somebody else that you've existed since the 1600s, um, it's really difficult. I mean, and they want to see documentation and, uh, you know, back in the 1600s, there weren't that many people that were writing down this stuff. And uh, Virginia, it's really tough because um, it was a war zone. You know, the uh, Revolutionary War, uh, or the Civil War, and a lot of the documents were destroyed. So we had to go to England four times to get documents over there. And um, it's just really, uh, it's satisfi satisfying, but it's been, it's been such a long, hard struggle where we're, we're kind of wore out, you know. so. I think it will take a while before it kind of kicks in and we feel like uh, celebrating. I think it will take a little while. That's why we kind of decided to wait till after the final and not get too excited on the preliminary because something could come up. You know, we don't anticipate that. Um, oh, well, we're 99% of the way through. Uh, we're just on a uh, part of the process. It's a it's called a public comment period, and um, that's that's where any any groups or anybody in the public can um, challenge our um, any of our documentation. But you know we think that's pretty uh, that's gonna be pretty hard to do. We spent so many years you know compiling documents and we cross referenced everything and we got not just uh, you know one example, but thousands of examples of uh, uh, identity and. The reference materials or supporting materials for the bureau, and that, it costs ten thousand dollars just on xeroxing. So once you get a positive preliminary, you're almost certain to get a positive final. Well, some are really excited, and, and others are a little bit indifferent because um, you know we've been lied to so much over the centuries, you know, by the by the uh, the government and the state. I was ecstatic. It was awesome. We worked so hard for this and just wanted to hear it. It's just, I was just so happy. I just yelled when I heard it. I think it's very positive. I mean, we worked so hard. We put so many documentations. I don't know why, who would uh, say, you know, against it, but I'm hoping everybody will be for us and we can get it. Um, I'm pretty sure they will. We're sovereign land, for one thing, and that uh, we have our own traditions. You know, the pottery one is one of the lo longest traditions we've had, and we still can do that today. We get play from the riverbank, uh, make our own pottery. Um, it's just it, we're governed by chief and council, so uh, and the uh, sheriff can't come here unless chief calls him. So that's pretty neat. Relieved, <laughs> a lot of work <laughs> that's finally coming to fruition. So we'll see what happens. And, uh, we were able to meet their exceedingly high <laughs> requirements. Uh, a lot of work, no real problem meeting it, but just the fact the amount of work and that the federal government recognizes the amount of work and everything we've put into it. Plus not just the federal government, the uh, Virginia public, American public at large who may have ignored us for years The hours are untold. It's just hard to say. It's been a you know 22 to 25 years worth of work and struggle, and millions of dollars of uh, legal work and and time. If you you know had to add it up, you know man hours just just hundreds of thousands of man hours. You know, 
and finally after 400 years, you know, accept us as a sovereign nation is, you know, I mean, it's really huge. It's kind of anticlimactic, really. And it's still not, you know, positive. And so, I mean, it's 99% positive. But, um, you know, we were talking about having a party or something. But we decided to wait till the final, and then we're going to have a big bash.